Hi, this is Kelly. I'm back to show you another mini. Uh, this is a mini that I made for my friend Vicki. And um, a while ago we swapped toilet paper tube minis. And we decided that we wanted to swap bigger minis with each other. And this is the mini that I've made for her. And I hope she likes it. But um, for the paper collection that I used in this, I used the k and Company Susan Wignett Win Winget. I hope that's how you say it. Um, botanical paper and I chose this paper because Vicki really likes purple and it just has some really soft pretty purples and greens and blues in it and I fell in love with the paper as soon as I saw it so I had this is why I chose this paper anyways um, this is a paper bag mini and the way that this is put together I used Kathy Orta's um, method of paper bags minis but I modified it a little because I wanted it to be just a little simpler than the way that she does it but anyways check her out Kathy Order at Paper Phenomenon and anyways I'm getting off track these for the cover I did just a variety of flowers and most of them are from Recollections there's a couple of silk flowers there's a couple that are from I Am Roses and um, the leaves are from, oh, another company, and I can't remember. Anyways, the butterflies are a Martha Stewart punch that I glittered, and this is a Tim Holtz stamp and a Tim Holtz pin. Uh, I binded this with Tim Holtz grunge paper that I dauber painted with the gold dauber paint. I really liked the way it, it turns out. It's just pretty gold. And then I cut the edges with uh, the Tim Holtz on the edge dies. And added a little bling to it and thought it I liked the way the cover turned out um, on the inside as you can see this is really a fat mini it turned out really chunky on the inside cover I kept it simple it just has a very simple photo mat tag I'm, I'll probably add a personal message or something for Vicki before I send it um, on the edges here and on most of my tags I did the edges on this I used this Krylon gold leafing pen and I really liked the way it looked. It just kind of dresses that plain tag up a little. And I just have a very simple pocket here to hold it using the Friskers Threading Water Punch. And on the first page, I just made a pocket, added some tags. And as you can see, I did the gold leafing around the tags. And it just, it just kind of dresses it up a little. And then this one I stamped with a photo mat. And because of the way this bag is paper bag mini is put together, it has uh, flips, pages, and pockets. And so on this one, I just have a very simple tag with a Tim Holtz stamp. It's it's she can put a photo under it. Just a silk flower there and a leaf that I cut out on my Cricut. And for this one here, of course they all have pockets. And this one has I made just a little flip book. Very simple but easy. And then all of the end pockets I just did a very simple simple tag. And I'm not going to pull these all out because they're all the same. But that's the way I, I usually do it that way with just simple tags on the insides for photo mats or journaling or whatever. And then here on this page it's just a very simple photo mat. I glossy accented the butterfly to make it pop. Put some bling and a flower. And then I added for this page, I added another little photo mat, little pocket. The dragonfly is from King Company. It's a dimensional sticker. A little, fa um, oh goodness, flower, fabric flower, sorry. Uh, this one here has a little photo mat that can have a picture put behind it. I put glossy accents or pearls, liquid pearls on there to kind of make that pop. And then just another simple photo mat. And on this one I actually used, I didn't want, I thought the gold wasn't, I didn't quite like the gold so I used the silver Krylon pen on here. Just gives it a different look.
On this one here, I need to look up and find out where I got the idea for this. I apologize that I can't remember where I got the idea for this, but it's just a little wallet photo holder. It just folds open. It has a place for tags, and then this flips open and it's held shut with magnets. Another place for tags, and then it has another pocket here with a tag. which I can't get back in. And here's a Tim Holtz ticket. And I have I need to make a tag and put a tag in there, but the tag goes in there. I just thought it was really cute. It just slides right in there. And then this page, I really liked the paper. I just kind of wanted to let it let it shine on its own, and so I just added some little pearl bling and some punched flowers and a couple little paper flowers. And then it has a photo mat, and these flowers here are from K and Company. They're two-dimensional stickers, and another Martha Stewart butterfly punch. More of the flowers. Sorry, my brain's not working today. Just a couple more simple tags. Here's just another simple photo mat in the pocket. Very simple. This one here, I just added a bunch of different flowers. There's some punched flowers, there's some I Am Roses flowers, some Recollections, some Prima. It, I put quite a variety on there. Anyways, and it's left it open for a photo. Here I did some journaling spots that I just used some stripe paper in the collection. I thought that was pretty fun. And then another one of these K and Company dimensional stickers. And this is a Prima flower that I received in a swap. And another photo frame that this one I actually did the gold leafing pen on it. Just a simple tag. There's just another simple photo mat. And on the back of this, I did a postcard stamp. I thought that was pretty fun. A place for journaling a picture little postcard to go in there. And this one here, I really liked this dragonfly paper, so I decided to keep it simple. And this is just a little tag that I received in a swap from someone. And then here's another photo mat and a journaling spot. Another little tag. And then I used a punch. This one is a Martha Stewart... No. Yes, this one's a Martha Stewart punch. I don't remember what it's called, though. But I just made another little pocket there. Another little tag. Then for this one I actually did two little two photo mats. The paper was just so pretty. I wanted to just kind of show it off. And then here I did a pocket and for a, t a couple tags. This is just a another tag. I don't even remember where I got that one from. And another this one flips. And then here on the last page, I did something a little different here. I have another little slip-in card, and this is one of the pull-out cards that I did. Lots of space for pictures or journaling or whatever. Anyways, I thought that was fun to put in there. And then I probably will need to make another tag to put in the back. And then for the back cover, you can see how I punched that out. I just kept it simple and this is a Tim Holtz stamp. This is limited edition created by and my name. Um, anyways, this is the mini that I made for Vicky. I hope you like it, Vicky. It was I had a lot of fun making it and it just ended up being huge. Um, uh, anyways, thanks for watching and bye.